Hi, this is Dr. Desmond Wayne from Desmond Wayne Liver and Gastro Center. Today I want to talk about the hepatitis C test. Okay, so quite often I've got referral from family doctor or screening center doctor that hey Desmond, please see this patient with a positive anti-HCV antibody. So patients often are very nervous. They would look at the results and see the word anti-HCV reactive and they would jump and say, oh dear, what if I have hepatitis C? I even had one patient many years ago that thought her husband has been unfaithful, <laughs> thinking that he picked up Hep C from maybe some, you know, extramarital affairs and passed it to her after that. So let me clarify. First of all, hepatitis C is transmitted not so much by sex. Uh, between husband and wife, the concordant risk of hepatitis C together with Hep C is not high. So we know that Hep C is not very infectious by sexual intercourse. HIV, uh, actually, uh, hepatitis B actually are more infectious compared to hepatitis C and HIV from sex. So Hep C is not really a sexually transmitted disease per se, but Hep C can be transmitted by blood, such as uh, people uh, getting a blood transfusion from contaminated blood, or by organ transplant. Uh, many years ago, I have local Singaporean patient that went overseas for an organ transplant. I mean, we know that it's not legal. It is like organ trading, organ purchase, but people do that anyway. It's their life. They make their own choice. But when you have organ transplant done in uh, 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 not a safe environment, what happens is that sometimes the donor has hepatitis C and by transmitting the donor, the, the organ to you, you can get hep C from an organ transplant. So mainly by blood, by organ transplant in US, that there are people that take injection drug abuse, uh, they can pass, they can spread through sharing of needle. And they've been reported that if they share needles or blood like a dentist or like acupuncturist or vaccination center, uh, they can also pass Hep C around if one person has Hep C and they share the needle with the rest. So it's mainly by blood. I have one patient from a small country in Southeast Asia who has who seen me many years ago for hepatitis C. He remembered when he was a kid, he, they, he told me that the whole village would line up all the kids and they would give all the kids an injection as a vaccination. I'm not sure what it is. So he said that they will use one syringe, a big syringe, and every kid will have one uh, inoculation along, along. So obviously it's not ideal because whatever disease the first person in the queue had, they jab the first person and they jab everybody else with the same needle, same syringe, and they can spread the disease around. So the that are the causes, okay? Uh, so mainly sharing a needle, blood transfusion, history of injection drug use, not so much sex. So this Hep C is transmitted. So if someone come in with a Hep C test being positive, Antibody being positive, I'll normally ask them, list down, do you have all these? Or I mix up a uh, body piercing tattoo can also spread Hep C if the, if the, uh, if the technician does not uh, use recycle a needle. So, but to test for Hep C, there are two ways. There's a screening way that is, uh, uh, that is what we call sensitive, but not accurate. And there's an expensive way. The screening way is this test called anti-HCV, anti-hepatitis C virus antibody. This is an antibody test, it's a cheap test, it is a, a sensitive test, that means most Hep C will have it positive. But there's one problem, that it is not very accurate. So anti-HCV just means patient had a past exposure to hepatitis C. If the patient had Hep C before, anti-HCV will always be positive. Or if the person had Hep C before and get treated, now no more Hep C, they can also be positive. So it doesn't tell you current status. And besides that, anti-HCV is an antibody and sometimes it can cross real with other viruses. So a positive anti-HCV may not mean Hep C, but merely means that they have other virus infection. So anti-HCV is not a good test. It's a good sensitive test, but not a good diagnostic test. Uh, many people that have a positive anti-HCV may end up not having hepatitis C. So I normally tell all this to my patient. Then how do we confirm hepatitis C? Hepatitis C, chronic hepatitis C is defined as presence of HCV RNA. That means the Hep C virus in the blood. I repeat, chronic hepatitis C is defined by presence of the virus in the blood. If they exist for less than six months, we call it acute hepatitis C. If it lasts more than six months, we call it chronic hepatitis C. So I told my patient all this, and I will often do one test for them, that is a HCV RNA. If it's positive, bingo, I'm sorry, they have hepatitis C, but then we'll treat. 
But if it's negative, I will normally tell them that, well, anti-HCV is a screening test but not a diagnostic test. To confirm hep C is a hep C RNA viral load. If the hep C RNA test is negative, then great, you don't have hepatitis C. Yeah. We will, so if you have hepatitis C antibody, anti-HCV positive, your doctor will ask you any risk factor for hepatitis C, look at the liver function, is that normal, and perform a HCV RNA uh, uh, by PCR. If all the above is negative, great, you don't have hepatitis C. I hope it helps to ease your worry. I mean, if in doubt, check with your liver doctor. This is Dr. Desmond Wright. Thank you.